Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today for KMT's online webinar. This year we celebrate the 50 year anniversary being in the business of supplying high pressure pumps around the world. We're the pioneers of WaterJet. And today we're going to be talking with Robbie Tidwell from Northwood Machinery. Northwood has been a KMT OAM partner for over 15 years and they're very familiar with WaterJet. So today we're going to spend time with Robbie and discuss his technology and find out a little bit more about Northwood. Welcome, Robbie, to the KMT webinar. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate uh, you guys having Northwood here on your webinar. It's a great privilege to be able to work with a company such as KMT. And I just want to thank all of you guys, um, your whole team, um, for allowing us to do this webinar with you. That's good, Robbie. Uh, you've been in this industry for 30 plus years, so you've seen the industry grow. But what kind of criteria should a prospective buyer be asking themselves when they look at various machinery? Uh, that's that's a good question. And, you know, if I put myself on the outside and normally that is what I do whenever I'm speaking to a customer is, you know, when you're looking at a machine, there are certain criteria that you need to be looking at to make sure not only that you're getting the best machine out on the market and that machine can do the job, but um, after that one year warranty runs out on it, um, are you going to have that company there to take care of you? So what I would suggest for people that are purchasing equipment is one, look at the company they're buying the machine from, make sure it is a very reputable company, make sure that company has been around for a while, then, of course, you want to go into the, you know, the construction of the machine. Is the machine constructed properly? Meaning, do they use FEA, which is finite element analysis, when they're building the machine? Because a machine construction starts from the ground up. So it starts from the, from the metal that is being welded together. So, of course, that has to be proper. Then you get on into the components that make up that machine. All of us machine tool builders, we build the, the metal. We put the metal together, we machine the metal, but then we have to go outside and, and purchase the spindles that goes on them. We have to purchase the intensifiers. We have to purchase the drive systems, the controllers. Uh, so these are the things that you wanna be asking your machine tool builder, how these components are uh, put together, making sure that the components that they're using are reputable companies and making sure that you have the service and the backup. Um, so it's not just a machine that you're buying, you're buying into a partnership with the company that you're purchasing the machine tool from. Robbie, you sell a lot of combination saw jets. I know the Raptor is one of the most popular machines in the market. Can you tell me some of the advantages of this machine? Oh man, this the Raptor saw jet has been one of the, um, machines that has been needed in the industry for quite some time, especially since the materials that we're getting into are becoming much harder, much more brittle. Um, so what a saw jet allows you to do is you're able to, to cut your straight pieces with the saw and then any, um, any blending in cut or radius cuts, we come in with a water jet and we make those cuts with a water jet. The thing that the Raptor has done for us is now we're bringing in a true five axis CNC machine, meaning what I can do now is with the water jet, I can cut miters with the water jet. And the way that this industry has changed a lot of the countertop manufacturing, a lot of the countertop designs have become mitered edges, meaning, um, in order to do an edge, the water jet is going to need to be able to tilt to be able to get the best yield out of your material. Um, and what that means is profit at the end of the day. And of course, that's what we all strive for. But one of the big things that the Raptor brings to the table is the accuracy. Uh, the, the very preciseness that you have with five axes, um, drive systems matching together and and creating a, a blend line between the saw and the water jet. 
So you're not having to do a lot more off site work after you take it off of the saw chip. I'm at it and talk about the differences between the Raptor and a lot of the machines that are out there in the market. I myself have been in a lot of stone shops and it just seems like there's a lot of labor, a lot of grinding, a lot of secondary operations going on as I walk through these shops. Tell me how the Raptor takes care of a lot of the labor issues and the secondary uh, operations as you talk to business owners out there. Yeah. Um, so with the training, um, it starts out before the machine arrives at the customer's facility. What we like to do here at Northwood, we like to bring the customer in at least one to two weeks prior to that machine arriving at the customer's facility. What we do here is we will then go through the training on software, we go through the training on maintenance, and then one of the big pluses is, that we have here is being able to have a demo uh, top works for the KMT intensifier. So not only do we just train them on the machine, but we also train them on breaking down, repairing, doing the maintenance on the uh, KMT intensifier, the top works. Um, once they have went through the one week training here at Northwood, then we will ship the machine to them and then we'll spend two weeks on site at the customer's facility. Um, we get the machine up and running the first week and then the second week again is getting their production up and running and again going through maintenance items on the machine, making sure they're understanding what needs to be done to keep that machine maintained. Now, one of the great things that we have with KMT is KMT also has an annual uh, preventive maintenance program. They have trucks that are, uh, that are situated throughout the United States. By having that, they have the parts and the components on the truck and they will come around every six months or a year, whatever you decide to purchase, and they will do the maintenance there on site. Um, so not only are they doing the maintenance, but they're also doing some training with the customer um, while they're there doing the, the maintenance. One other thing that Northwood has is as long as you own the machine, you can come back to Northwood at our training facility at no cost to the customer. So we, we pride ourselves in making sure that that customer is trained because if the customer isn't trained, then of course the machines aren't going to run properly and you're going to have premature failing. That's good, Robbie. Uh, you, you mentioned doing things right the first time, whether it's quality, performance, precision. Let's talk a little bit about the economics and the dollars behind the operation with throughput in particular. How many kitchens a day can a stone fabricator expect to produce in terms of throughput uh, with the Raptor? So a customer asks me that all the time. Um, if I'm looking at a single table Raptor, um, you know, you're going to be looking at anywhere from eight to 12 slabs on an average a day. And that's a combination of different type cutting, whether it's straight cuts, radius cuts, sink cutouts or miters. So it does vary, but that's going to give you roughly a number that you can work with. Um, and then if you're looking at a twin table machine, I can get more production off of a twin table machine because while I'm loading or unloading the previous table, I'm running the second table. So now I'm looking at anywhere from 16 to 22 slabs a day. And that would be in an eight hour period. So Robbie, really the, the throughput question comes down to getting it right the first time. If the machine is running fast, but the operator has to go back and throw labor at the part, it defeats the purpose. So really throughput is a, about the machine getting it right with quality and precision to do it right the first time. You're, you're exactly right. So think about it this way. If I can put a full slab onto the Northwood Raptor, I can then press a button. Of course, all the programming would be done behind the scenes. I can press a button and within 20 to 25 minutes, I have a full slab that has been cut up. I do not, and it's been mitered. I don't have to touch that slab again. It is now gonna go to my finished department. Yeah. Versus if I'm doing this with a bridge saw or if I'm doing this with a robot that can just do vertical cuts. Now, guess what? I have to touch that part a second time. 
-hmm. I have to run the risk of damaging that part, breaking it by running it on on another machine. So now I'm adding extended um, cost to that component. And we don't want that. We want to be able to put it on the machine, the, the Raptor, put it on the Raptor, take it off, and it's the finished product. Robbie, obviously with COVID-19, there's been a lot of challenges. We're doing now more webinars, more team meetings, conference calls. But prior to 2020, able to do trade shows, talk to customers face-to-face, have open houses. I want our viewers to watch a short uh, film regarding the advantages of the Raptor and some of the footage that we actually took out in the field. So let's take a minute and watch that. All right. I try to do my best for my customer. Feel better the time the customer walk in the showroom. I want to feel like he's part of his house here. So I have the shop like this. Even inside the shop, you guys see, it's like you know, I want to make sure it's very nice cleaning, spot clean. Because I prepare new people for the new technology coming. I'm going to save a lot of labor. Labor is a lot of issue for our industry. Uh, the machine is not making over time. The machine is not make sick, you know, call sick. So is this a big plus for us? But the shop, I want to make sure we did the best top of the line equipment I put on. And I got this with Norwood. With the Raptor you know, I have there. It's very precise, cut the miles beautiful, double table, easy to do, very precise and everything. I'm very happy with the product I have now. Very happy. We have a great pump. This is beautiful. The 65,000 RPM. We have no problem, no issues at all. Yeah, the mitering with this machine, the Raptor, you now if you have an inside corner of an L shape, the inside corner, the blade will never be able to get there. So when you have a water jet that is able to do this and continue that cut, it will give you a precise mitered corner that when you have to assemble by hand, you just put the pieces there in that corner and, and it's ready to. Stone Tech has been in business for over 33 years and evolved into fabrication of countertops and vanity tops and everything slab related. We were manual from then until 2015. We took on more machinery in order to supply the material, the fabrication for, uh, you know, being able to measure uh, 40 units on a Monday and install 40 units that same Friday for a commercial job while running our normal. Uh, you know, retail business is all, uh, was really all made possible by the, by the technology. It's allowed us to tremendously grow the business. The machinery has greatly increased the turnaround time, um, especially with the miter, uh, in, with the CNC saws and the water jets. The, our miter work went from, you know, being a two-week turnaround to being the same one-week turnaround that we do on our normal normal countertops. And I certainly use Northwood as a big sales tool because when we tour of the of the whole shop, you know, we want to do that. We, and a big selling point for me is explaining to them uh, why we went uh, American, right? We, we explain to all of them where these machines are built. See this uh, water jet, you know, with the with the gauging ball coming down, you know, to test the thickness of the stone, you know, they see the water jet kicking in. I mean, it gets people excited. You know, you can't go to many shops and see and see all of that. So that's why they're getting a, that's why they're getting a quality product. You know, it's a sales tool. It's saying Northwood and having the colors on there is, is something that we, is that we sell. You know, the customers know that we pay for quality and the quality of uh, everything from the stone to the fabrication process to the installation. They're getting that same quality. It's from the time that we took on the technology of Northwood, which like I said, was the end of 2015 our volume has gone up sixfold. So we are, we are producing six times the amount of volume. We're doing six times the sales, you know, as we were doing in, uh, in previous years. And, uh, you know, the machinery is a huge part of that. You know, the right machinery, the right salespeople, the right people in-house, um, the right installers. And that's, you know, that's all what got us, uh, what got us to this point. Rock Tops Fabrication. We're a fabricator in the Baltimore area. Um, we h- cater to high-end builders and retail customers. 
in this market. One big thing about the Northwood Raptor, since we do a lot of miter work, the five axis water jet really helps us out, uh, saving a lot of time in hand work. It also helps um, not make a lot of dust when a lot of that handwork is created, so that's a very important thing for us. Our Northwood Raptor is really our workhorse to help us cut a lot of kitchens uh, efficiently and with good quality. Right. One other big reason we went with the Northwood Raptor was its ease of programming. You can easily program uh, <clears throat> 30, 40 square foot jobs in one slab in, in a matter of seconds. Uh, a very nice feature on the, on the Raptor is the, the probing feature. Uh, it really helps you know how thick material is, so when you are doing miters, it gives you the right ad adjustment, especially for the water jet head. So where the nozzle is the correct distance over the material to make sure you your cuts line up. That was uh, a good time and fun. Hopefully we can get out and do that again, Robbie. I, I hope so, and I just want to give a shout out to all the guys that took their time to, uh, to allow us to come in and share right. with the stone industry of what they're doing in their shop. So if somebody comes to you and asks a question regarding the investment and they already have some equipment and they don't want to make the big investment, they just want to add a piece to their existing equipment, how would you navigate through that conversation in terms of the Raptor or maybe a full solution that you could offer rather than piecemeal? I would present to them that with one machine, I can do everything that two machines can do two employees can do. So by saying that, I've already lessened their their capital expenditure yeah. um, per year um, down, pro well, probably twice as much as what they would be spending on a brand new machine. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, is when the component comes off of the, uh, off the Raptor, it's either one ready to go to the router it's ready to go to the, the guys that are putting the profiled edge on it, or it's ready to be uh, laminated for, for miners. Mm -hmm. uh, where if you are saying, hey, I'm gonna just keep my water jet, I'm gonna keep doing everything on the water jet, and I'm gonna just buy a bridge saw. So now I've got two machines, and then I'm having to run the risk of taking that component from the water jet now to a, to a saw, to a CNC saw, or back to the, to the hand fabbing. So whenever I can have one machine to be able to do everything, to me, that machine justifies itself. Robbie, you're talking about how everything has to work together to get the cut right the first time. Other than KMT, I know you have other partners out there to help you with the total experience for the customer. Can you tell me about a few of those partners? Uh, we use the, um, of course, the KMT intensifier. We use the FANIC controls. Umbra ball screw drive system. Um, I can go on and on discussing the components that we use. Uh, but again, it's the team that makes a company. And that's what Northwood prides ourselves on is we have a complete team. Robbie, we have a few questions that we've gathered over the years at various trade shows. The first question is, I have been sending out my material to be cut. At what point do you recommend that I make the decision to invest in a new saw water jet okay so it's pretty pretty simple math there um, we're going to look at the money that we're expending out um, we're going to um, look at those numbers compared to what a machine and one operator is going to cost me we're going to compare the difference there and of course um, we look at those numbers and think about it in five years that machine's paid off once that machine's paid off, then basically you have free labor. It's time for me to make a move and go on automation. We talked about this earlier, but when you look at the Raptor versus, let's say, a robotic saw jet, really what are the differences? Accuracy. It, in a nutshell, is accuracy. Um, the accuracy of being able to cut a backsplash and that backsplash, let's say I'm cutting a four inch backsplash, and that backsplash be four inches all the way down is very important to a installer uh, because when those backsplashes butt up together on the end, you want them to match up. Uh, the other thing is, is whenever you um, make a cut and if your machine is not accurate enough, then the saw blade is going to be going through the material at an angle 
And now your cut edge is going to be on an angle. It's not going to be a true 90 degree cut to the top surface. Yeah. Um, so with a Raptor, that's what we can provide you with. And not only that, we can provide you with the mitering with the water jet and the saw. That's the big problem that, uh, that robots have. Um, yes. It's been able to produce those uh, those mitered edges. Probably the next question is, when do you cut just with a saw blade versus a water jet? And why do you need both technologies on one platform? Okay. Um, yeah, good question. So let's say that I'm nesting uh, a slab of material. So I'm nesting components. What that means, I'm putting multiple components on one slab. Now, I may be making a cut that is perpendicular to another part. So as that saw comes up to the perpendicular piece, I cannot go all the way through and make a cut unless I separate those pieces to allow the saw blade to go through. So what happens is I will make all my saw cuts. The saw will stop short of intruding into another part that is perpendicular to the part I'm cutting. The saw blade will come up out of the cuts and then the water jet will come in and finish those cuts up. Um, we can do that on a miter as well as on a vertical cut, of course. So what that does for me, it allows me to do better nesting so I get a better kneel out of my slab than if I were just using a regular bridge saw or a regular CNC saw. So I'm now I'm not having to spread my parts out to allow the saw to go all the way through the cut. The other thing um, that having the water jet and the saw allows me to do is inside corners. So if I'm doing an L shape and that L shape is going to be mitered on the inside corners, um, then what happens is I can bring the saw in on the miter cut. It gets to the inside corner. I can't go any further without intruding on the opposite side of the cut. Saw blade comes out, the water jet will come into that inside corner and it will clean that out in a mitered configuration. That's why the Raptor is important. Um, our industry has changed. We're going into doing a lot more porcelain materials, deck time, um, a lot of materials that are really hard to cut with a saw blade. And that's where the water jet comes into play. Um, but again, I'll go back to say, it's very important to make sure that you're not just buying any saw jet. You're making sure that you're buying a saw jet that is accurate and can make these cuts very precisely. Hey, Robbie, the next question is, I'm a small stone fabricator. Believe it or not, we do not miter. If I was to invest in the Raptor, do I have to go all in with the five axes or can I just get an upgrade later? No, you, you don't. You don't, but um, I maybe have sold one out of all the all the Raptors that I've sold. Um, here's the thing, if you're not doing miters today, give it a while because you will be doing miters. That's just the way the industry is changing and for the upgrade, it's very little for the upgrade. And now you have a machine that can do any type cutting you wanna do. Robbie, the next question is, with a saw jet, what is the biggest headache? There, there's not anything because we have taken care of that on the software side. So for running a saw jet uh, versus running a regular bridge saw, the software does all the work. It does all the decision making on where does the water jet come in to make the cut? Where does the saw make the cut? Our software determines those cuts. Uh, through the algorithms that we run on it. Is there anything else that you'd like to cover before we wrap up? Um, so when you're looking at a true five axis machine, do your homework and make sure that you're getting a machine that has a precision, that has a durability, um, that has the stamina to be able to hold up to this stone industry. Um, so that would be the thing that I would uh, like to leave um, the, the listeners to. I think we've covered a lot of ground today, Robbie, and I really appreciate you coming in, taking some time out of your day to share your knowledge and some history on Northwood. I think it was excellent. For the viewers, if you have any questions for KMT or Northwood, the phone numbers and email addresses and website are on the video. So for that, have a great day. Thanks again.